Masaru Emoto and his water experiments. Water is amazing. It can change its shape and structure depending on the environment it is in. It can also respond to our thoughts, words, and feelings. This is what Masaru Emoto, a Japanese scientist and author, discovered through his water experiments. Masaru Emoto was fascinated by water and wanted to know more about its secrets. He had a special technique to freeze and photograph water crystals from different sources and expose them to different stimuli. He used a microscope and a camera to capture the images of the frozen water crystals. He found that water from natural and clean sources, such as mountain streams and springs, created beautiful and geometric water crystals. He also found that water from polluted and dirty sources, such as tap water and rivers near cities, created broken and deformed water crystals. He concluded that water quality affects the shape and structure of water crystals. But he did not stop there. He wanted to see if water could also react to other things, such as music, words, and emotions. He played different kinds of music to water, such as classical, rock and folk. He wrote different words on paper and taped them to water bottles, such as love, hate, thank you, and you fool. He also asked people to send different thoughts and feelings to water, such as gratitude, anger, joy and sadness. Then he froze and photographed the water crystals again. He was amazed by what he saw. He found that water exposed to positive and harmonious stimuli, such as thank you, love, and classical music, created beautiful and symmetric water crystals. He also found that water exposed to negative and chaotic stimuli, such as insults, heavy metal music, and pollution, created ugly and asymmetric water crystals. He concluded that water can sense and reflect our thoughts, words, and feelings. He also did some experiments with rice and water. He put rice, and water in three beakers and spoke different words to them every day for a month. He said thank you to the first beaker, you fool to the second beaker, and ignored the third beaker. He observed the changes in the rice and water over time. He found that the rice that was thanked he came fragrant, the rice that was insulted turned black, and the rice that was ignored rotted. He suggested that this shows the power of words and intention, and the importance of caring for living things. Masaru Emoto's experiments were very controversial and criticized by many scientists. They said that his experiments were not rigorous and reliable, and that his results were influenced by his own beliefs and expectations. They also said that his photographs were not objective and could be interpreted in different ways. They challenged him to repeat his experiments under controlled and supervised conditions but he refused. Masaru Emoto died in 2014, but his work is still alive and inspiring millions of people. He made us realize that water is much more than just a simple molecule. He showed us that water is a living and conscious entity that can communicate with us and teach us. He also showed us that water is a mirror that can reflect our reality and ourselves. He encouraged us to respect and appreciate water and to use it for healing creating and transforming. He invited us to join the dance of water and life.